Hi there, it's Susie Iverson, otherwise known as Susie Q Scraps, and I'm here with another quick tip. Today I'm going to show you how you can add a stroke or border to your photos. I like to add white borders to my pictures to help them pop off the page, especially when I have a busy background. I'm using Photoshop Elements 9 for this tutorial, but the steps work in earlier versions of Elements as well as in Photoshop CS versions. I've already created my 12 by 12 document at 300 dpi. I've pulled in a background from my new robot collection, beep, beep, boop, beep. And I've added the three pictures that I want. I've already cropped them and kind of arranged them in how I want on the page. So now I'm ready to add my white border to my photos. You can choose another color. I prefer white. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit D. And that's going to change my color swatches over here, my color chips, to the default black and white. And then I'll hit X to exchange them and get that white color in the foreground. And then making sure I've selected the photo I want to add a stroke to. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little better. I'm going to go to Edit, then Stroke Outline Selection. And then it comes up with this box with several options. Um, the default should be normal blending mode with 100% opacity. You can just leave that how it is. Uh, you'll want to change the width depending on the picture. When I have a bigger picture like this one, I'll use 25 to 35 pixels. On smaller picture pictures, 15 to 20 pixels usually work. So I'm going to start with 35 on this. Then you want inside, so it draws that white border along the inside following these nice sharp edges and corners. So click OK, and it's going to add a stroke. Let's go ahead and click on this picture over here, and we'll do the same steps. Edit, Stroke, Outline Selection. I don't want 35. If I did, it would add a really fat border, which is the same size as this picture, but looks too fat for this smaller picture. So you can hit Control-Z to undo, or go back a step in your Undo History palette. Select the picture again, Edit, Stroke, and I'm going to go ahead and change that to 20, and do it on the inside, and click OK. Now let me zoom in for this next picture. I'm going to show you what happens if you pick inside or outside. So again, I'm going to select the picture, go to Edit, Stroke. If I were to choose outside, it's now going to draw the line outside the picture. Click OK. And as you can see, there is an edge chopped off here on the corner. So it's not a perfect sharp corner square. Um, let me go back a step. Same thing happens when you do center, just not as pronounced, because it's trying to draw the line along the center. And as you can barely see, let me zoom in some more. That edge right there has been slightly chopped off. Whereas when you choose inside, it follows that sharp corner. So again, I'm going to go back a step, then edit, stroke, choose inside, and click OK. And now my edge is nice and perfect just like the picture was. And there you have it. That is how you add a stroke to your photos. If you have any questions, you can email me at suzyqscraps at gmail.com. Thanks.